Frogs at the Blue Reef Aquarium in Portsmouth have been jumping for joy after successfully spawning for the very first time. Hundreds of tiny tadpoles are now busy growing into adults, but not all of the amphibians at the centre have had the same luck. I went down to the aquarium to see if I could find my Prince Charming. Frogs and staff at the Blue Reef Aquarium in Southsea are entering uncharted waters. It's after some of the most exotic species of frogs in the aquarium spawned for the very first time. Both the fire-bellied toads and the Congo frogs have released eggs in the last week, leaving many thinking it's been a lucky leap year. Um, it's really always really exciting when we have breeding um, and of course births in the aquarium. It's obviously a really exciting thing, so um, I'm really happy that I've been able to be involved in it. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited to see the adults now. It's really amazing seeing things growing up uh, and seeing all the different life stages as well. So, Sadly, the two species haven't had the same level of success. None of the eggs from the fire-bellied toads turned into tadpoles. So with the fire-bellied toads, we, um, we had heard them breeding and we had also um, seen them breeding as well. Uh, and so we were looking on the lookout for um, eggs all of the time and then eventually we managed to find them. They're very, very tiny little dots which are in a clear gel so it's really tough to actually find them and um, actually see them. So once we'd found them, we collected them very carefully um, and we took them into our quarantine where we'd set up a small tank for them there. So unfortunately when um, they were in quarantine, nothing continued to happen so we just would assume that they probably weren't fertilised um, or some something else along, um, along those lines really. Um, it, because it was our first time, we're going to keep trying and we have um, heard them mating again and so we can keep our lookout for eggs again now soon. Now I'm no David Attenborough, but it did certainly seem like the toads hadn't been deterred by their initial failure. Meanwhile, it was better news for the Congo frogs. Their eggs have hatched into hundreds of tiny tadpoles that have started feeding. So the Congo frogs, they um, again we saw them mating, they weren't making too much noise. They're aquatic frogs so it would have been harder to hear them anyway, because they're mainly underwater. Um, but we saw them mating and so again we were on the lookout for the eggs again um, and they are even harder to spot because they're even smaller um, so we had to really look out for those and then eventually we found them after a few months of, of looking and um, they're tiny tiny little black dots on the surface basically um, so when the female lays her eggs the male follows up behind her fertilizing them um, and so we were looking out for that as well so then we found them all floating on the surface, we were able to take them out and then again put them in quarantine and um, within two days they attached. So we've got tiny little baby tadpoles in there now um, which have just started feeding so we're really happy. So we're just going to continue feeding them and making sure they're all um, fed well and the water's kept really clean in there for them um, just to make sure they're really healthy and then hopefully they'll continue to grow and then within um, six months they'll be mating adults. So it's a really, really quick and come round to then be a big circle of life. <laughs> but though many are born, only a handful will make it through to adulthood. The tiny tadpoles are extremely fragile and vulnerable to changes in the environment. Um, so we want to keep them off display for the time being because obviously they are at a sensitive stage in their life. We don't want to um, put them out on display where there might be more noise and more lights and more... Um, disruption to them and we want to make they are feeding really well now so we don't want to disrupt them too much and of course moving them as well and um, that would be difficult for them to withstand as well so we just want to keep them where they are where they're really happy um, and nice and quiet place for them to to grow up basically it'll take around six months for the tadpoles to turn into mature adults so mum and dad are just a hop a skip and a jump away from having some young joining them in the tank Charlotte Buiredney, for that Solent.